Hello students, today we will study unit number 3 transformers. So in this video we are going to understand one topic which is connection of three phase transformers. So in this video particularly we will understand the delta delta or this type of symbol connection. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper so without wasting much time let us start this video. So as we have already studied about the connections of single phase transformer. So in that what we have studied that it has one primary winding and it has one secondary winding. So in the three phase transformer also it has primary and secondary windings. But whatever windings that we are using in the case of three phase connections it has star connection or delta connection. Means what that over here I have written delta delta means what that on the primary side it has three phase delta connection and on the secondary side also it has three phase delta connection. How? We will understand with the help of symbols first. So first I will draw delta connection like this. So that is our three phase delta connection like this. Okay. After that we will consider three terminals for the three phase AC supply. So over here I will consider one terminal say B. Over here I will consider one terminal say C and over here I will consider say third terminal A. Now with the help of these three terminals, we will supply the AC input. That means over here we will supply what AC input to this primary winding which is delta connected. Okay. How? With the help of line conductors. Say we will take one line conductor, that line conductor will connect with B. So that will be our line conductor BB. Other line conductor I will take that I will connect with C terminal. So that is our line conductor CC. Another line conductor I will take that line conductor I will connect with uh, A terminal and that line conductor will be A A. Okay. Supposing to the primary side which is delta connection we are supplying the EMF or potential say E P. Okay. Now similarly it has one secondary side which is also delta connected so I will draw delta connection. So over here that is delta connection, three phase delta connection. Okay. Again, we will consider three terminals. So, first I will consider terminal B. Over here I will consider C and over here I will consider terminal A. Now, these three terminals are connected with the load. So, with the help of this three terminal, we will get output voltage or output EMF. Supposing output EMF by the secondary coil or secondary winding A suppose ES. Now how we get? So for that purpose we will take line conductor. That line conductor I will connect with B terminal say BB line conductor. Another line conductor I will take. That line conductor I will connect with C terminal say CC line conductor. Another line conductor I will take. That I will connect with A terminal say AA line conductor. Now after that we will draw this type of three lines which will indicate what that both of this winding primary and secondary they are electrically coupled. That means with the help of mutual induction process in the secondary winding EMF is induced which is ES with the help of EP EMF. Okay. So that is the symbolic representation. Now in the transformer whatever connections are there they are actual. So now we will try to draw the actual connections. Okay. So first we have suppose B terminal that B terminal is connected with line conductor so that is BB okay. Now that B is connected with what? B is connected with what? One winding. So over here I will connect it with one winding. Now B is connected with what? C. Winding is connected with C. So over here I will take C terminal. C terminal is connected with uh, CC line conductor. So that is our CC line conductor. So that is C that means B is connected with C. B is connected with C. Okay. Now C is connected with what? C is connected with one winding. So that is one winding. Now that C is connected with A. So that C is connected with A. For that purpose we will take A terminal. A terminal is connected with line conductor AA. So A terminal is connected with line conductor AA. So that will be what? Point A. So C is connected with A. C is connected with A. Okay. Now A is connected with one winding. So that is one more winding. Now that A is connected with B. So A is connected with, with B. So that is your B point. So A is connected with what? 
B. So A is connected with B. A is connected with B. Okay. Now that is all about the primary side. Now we'll move on with the secondary side. In secondary side also, what we will do? We will take one terminal B which is connected with line conductor B B. So I will draw line conductor B B. Now uh, B is connected with what? B is connected with C, but B is connected with winding. So B is connected with one binding. Then it is connected with C. So for that purpose, we will take one terminal C. C is connected with line conductor C C. So C is connected with line conductor C C. So that point is C. That means B is connected with C. B is connected with C. Okay. Now C is connected with what? One winding. So C is connected with one winding. That C is connected with A. So A is not present. So for that purpose, we will take uh, A terminal. Now A terminal is connected with A, A line conductor. So it is connected with A, A line conductor. So that would be our point A. So C is connected with A. So C is connected with C is connected with A. Okay. A is connected with what? Winding. So A is connected with one winding. Now A is connected with B. So A is connected with B like this. That line I have to extend little bit. A is connected with B. So over here A is connected with B. Okay. After that we will draw this type of three lines, which will indicate what that primary and secondary windings both are electrically. Coupled for the mutual induction process. Now, after explaining this type of diagrams, now in the examination, what you should write that I have written that this type of connection is used for large capacity and for low voltage transformer. Okay. Now, in the, this case of this connection, phase current becomes I L by root three. Why I L by root three? Because for the case of delta connection, we have derived one equation. What that all the line voltages are equals to all the phase voltages. And whatever line voltages are there, they are root three times of phase current. Line current equals to root three times of phase current. So we can write like this from this equation. What that phase current, phase current, which is equals to I L by root three. Okay. Now next is what less amount of copper is required for binding. Why? Right? Because over here only three wires are there. In the case of star connection, four wires are there, four one for neutral. So over here, uh, wires are reduced, so less copper is required. Now next is primary line voltage is VL1 is equals to VPS. Same thing is there. Why? Because for the data connection, all the line voltages are equals to phase voltage. Similarly, secondary line voltage is also VL2 is equals to VPS2. Then line to line voltage ratio is what? VL1 by VL2. VL1 is what? VPS1. And VL2 is what? VPS2. So like this, you can write in your examination to get the full marks. So now I would like to end this video. In the next video, we'll discuss about uh, star delta connection. So till then, read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.